Thank you. 
evening, everyone. My God, what a situation we are having here this evening. Unfortunately, I missed the entire first half of some challenges. And I must say, the fact that the game was removed, changed from three to two, would have affected me coming to this game early. However, unfortunately for the Charlie Moon fans, we are 63 minutes in and Dinkil leading by six goals to nil. What a goal. No one, even me, never expect anything. I don't even think the Dinkil faithful expected such a result at this time. But this is what it is, 63 minutes in. And again, good evening everybody. Welcome. At least we have at least another 20, 25 minutes to go. So we have some football to see people. They take the shorten as expected. Dribbling that is. Dribbling across and really get a shot off. Still dribbling across. Still dribbling. No time for a shot to close down easily by Charlie Mount, but still Dinkil in the position. And having time this play around. It's like a training to Dinkil right now, people. And it's a half side called by Dinkil. Too undicted, I should say. Too many touches, I suppose. So Charlie Mount going forward, but broken up there by the Dintil team, roll it back to their goalkeeper. The substitute, seems like Asha was injured, or it was just playing injury, trying to give everybody a touch of this football game. So this one over the top again, and this is what Dintil getting behind the Charlie Mount defense so often. Shoots and scores! Another one, ladies and gentlemen. And this is not good, not looking good at all for Charlie Mount. And it was a ball over the top. That's what I've seen since I get here. And through the legs of the goalkeeper it went. Sort of difficult for goalkeepers from such close range. But I must say, Charlie Mount is out. This has been, seems to be probably one of the most embarrassing results Charlie Mount have seen by over Dingtil. Uh, Dingtil having scored so many goals over Charlie Mount in a long while. This is the first time I've seen it. Not sure if that's done before, but another goalkeeper changed, so both teams changed their goalkeepers. Not sure what tactics it is. <laughs> My poor unseen. Come on, come on, people. Sorry for unseen, sorry for Charlie Mount, and I do understand. So, um, being till again in position. in this ball over again but will they go another chance for a goal but this time offside call by the assistant on the far side there offside it is so Charlie Mount lived to fight again on 7 nil. my god this has been not good at all so Charlie Mount in position but playing some really Hard game here. Clean tackle, I believe. Still rough, hard. That's football. So I throw into Dingtil. People are tend to mute the, the, the device right now because of the music playing in the background. So now and again, Cole and the Dinkton player who seems to run in the back of the Charlie Mount player. That's the number 17 from Dinkton. Trying to go through that number 15, it is number 14 from Charlie Mount. I wonder what was the game plan from the Charlie Mount team? As Anseen expected them to score goals, they has to score to get a chance. So I believe now they are completely out of the runnings for the second round. Start ball over, collected cleanly by the substitute goalkeeper for Dinkton. 68 minutes, 7 minutes to Dinkton. And people, thank you very much for watching. Unfortunately, I didn't get you the, the first half, but this is Affleck who cut out again. Charlie Mount defended totally at that point. But little to do, this Dinkton team. And 
foul on the play called by referee or the Hamilton. Quick pass, broken up by Charlie Mouton. Now Dinkle and the play again. Will he shoot this time in the box? Get it across. And this time, we can shoot out for a yeah. corner. So another corner to Dinkle in the 68 minute of play. So, in a little while, we'll try to get the scores for the other game, which is Enid Bennett hosting Yoatan at Nullis Community Field. So, corner here to Dingtil. Ball kicked over. Going to head it down, but clear. Again, this time half side. And we clear there. Goalkeeper will take this one long. Not long enough and out for a throw in. Over to the near side. So there's a whole lot of issues there on the Charlie Mount team or in the team. You can hear the arguments coming from players to player and there is no unity. And that will tell you the reason why the score is like this at this time. So 78 minutes of play, ball hit it across, but broken up by the defence of Charlie Mount, who dribbles out, and giving away this football, giving an opportunity to the field again cleared. So Charlie Mount swing this one, half side it is, called by the assistant on the near side. Dinkel coming out, dribbling, broken up by Charlie Mount in the middle of the Dinkel half, tackled up by Dinkel foul on the place of the referee Odek Hamilton. So here I can feel the rain drop. So it is a free kick to Charlie Mount. Very, very far out, but they always have the confidence that they can get something from the set play so let's see what they have to do here and what they will do so this one is kicked over the top straight to the keeper who punch it out to the top of the 18 but again Charlie Mount get back in position giving up position to Dingtil who stop pass easier does it Charlie Mount trying to get back in the game or at least to defend right now but Dingtil having it so easy playing it around, almost like a pedestrian um, type of movement. Turn this one beautiful, pass it inside. Interesting, the Dinkel playing this as if they are playing with 14 men to Charlie Mount 11. And let's see what happened. We take a check to ensure that it is Evie Stevens as it relates to the number on the field. But let's see, see. so Dinkel, number 15, goes inside to the number 11, who put it through the middle through the number 10 go and send it to afflict the number 20 who have already gone to no foul on the play player and said referee playing the advantage still didn't tell, trying to tie that time never worked out at all <laughs> it's very lot of traffic there and clearance i would say one way out the throw to charlie mount deep in their own half so people it's a one-sided affair totally one-sided um, Charlie Mount is that they have nothing to offer. I came and I asked the assistant, what's happening? He said he doesn't know either. <laughs> so I said, how could you not knowing and you were here from the start of the game? <laughs> so you can understand. Um, even the linesman is very disappointed in the, um, the way Charlie Mount has been playing. But that's how it is, people. Zone J match up Dinkel Charlie Mount. Over the top from go, but overheat. And keeper came and defended quite well. Pick it up, boot it out. Trying to catch Dinkel on the counter, but that's not enough. So speed that is from that Charlie Mount player shielding up by Dinkel. So goal kick to Dinkel. Well done to the defender from Dinkel there. They are having the play. They're, 
thing to see is that they're just enjoying themselves. It looks to me like an under 16 and a Dakasta Cup team training as the referee in the 73rd minute has called the water break. So people, I will say to you that this is not good. Not looking good at all as somebody said, as, let me see what they are saying in the chat. Go score, go score, yes. nil to um, ding till over Charlie Mount. So two goals each for Giovanni Affleck, Tyrese Go and that number 15 player who you see there had gone. They had scored two. Not looking good for Unseen, exactly. Not looking good at any at all. And just like how the stream looks, ladies and gentlemen, very dark. It is very dark here at the Dingtil Technical Ground, based from my vantage point. And that's how it looks for Charlie Brown. It's very, very dim. So Dinkel in position, going forward, ball playing out. Through to that number 15 player again. Very hard running he is, number 17. Swing this one over the top, trying to beat that, but let's see what happens. Will he keep him? No. Unable to keep that one in. So goal kick to Charlie Mount in the 77th minute of play.